The first step we have to do is get ourselves in control. That starts what we call the shooting platform. Okay, essentially, the lower body is going to be the suspension system because we know through trial and error that moving targets are much more difficult to engage than static, hiding uh, type targets. We want to be able to move and uh, present a real difficult target to anyone who might be trying to engage us. Okay, so that's essential. We've got to be balanced. We've got to move. We've got a suspension system down here. Ideally, we want to be able to move and keep the upper body fairly calm and steady because we already have enough, thing, uh, enough factors we're taking into consideration. We don't want to be erratically moving the upper body. Your head is relatively heavy. It's like a bowling ball, essentially. That's about how heavy it is. And if, if right at the moment that we're having to make a critical decision, we're, we're, we're moving everything around erratically, we're not efficient, and uh, it makes it difficult to actually do what we need to do, and that's fire the weapon at our opponent. You guys will find yourself in areas that there is no cover, there's no place to go, you're just caught out in the open, and the best thing you can do is maintain a shooting platform. Okay, so I want to be on balance, okay? My, my finger is off the trigger, if you notice that, and we'll, I'll discuss that a little bit more. I want, I want to, whatever the weapon may be, a shotgun, a submachine gun, it doesn't matter. I want to get a nice, good stock weld right here. I want to get nice and, nice and tight. So when I raise the weapon, all I need to do is lock it up to my cheek, and I already, I'm looking right down the barrel, right through the sights. A lot of guys will ask me, hey, do, what's the deal on a trigger finger? Should I keep it on, keep it off? If you go ahead and put your finger on the trigger, and, and you know you're under duress, and all of a sudden you see movement out in the dark, what are we gonna, Pat, what are we going to get? What's going to happen when your finger's hanging on the trigger there? Hey, you're just going to pull the trigger. You got your own guy in front of you, bad news, obviously. Okay? You may prematurely give away your position. A lot of reasons why we don't want to do that. It's unsafe, it's not tactical, it doesn't do us any good. So <clears throat> what I want to do is, while I'm orienting, while I'm just deciding to do it, I realize I have a threat, I have plenty of time to get that finger on the trigger. It will never be waiting for you. Or you'll never be waiting for your trigger finger, I should say. It'll always be there. We want to develop that habit. And you'll see us go through the drills, and if I catch you with your finger on the trigger, I'll remind you to get your finger off the trigger until you have a definite threat in front of you. All right, and we'll, and we'll talk about the movement. Essentially what I want you to do is I want you to move real smooth and I want you to, to wait, uh, get your foot on your back foot, your weight on your back foot, place the front foot and then transfer the weight. And there's kind of a nice smooth shuffle that goes on here where I'm just nice and smooth and I'm not running. If you run with a weapon, what's gonna happen with your head? It's going, to be, uh, it's going to be very difficult to acquire a target. Mo in CQB, there's very, very few times when you need to be running. There are some, but as a rule, if you're running, you're probably wrong and you're probably out of control. I need to be able to get my weapon to bear on a threat no matter which direction, which way it's coming from, no matter where, and unexpected or not, I have to have that weapon ready to go. Some things that aren't the shooting platform. This is not the shooting platform. Weapon off, off, the, uh, off the shoulder. Uh, down here too low, finger on the trigger, uh, real tight motion, you know, real tight uh, muscular contraction. I don't want to do that. I want to be loose and I want to be balanced. All right, loosed and balanced because that's the way your body functions best. You talk to any athlete in any sport and they're very smooth. Okay? Same thing when we're, when we're working a shooting platform. 